Hello everyone and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSP's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on June 10th and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming, I'm Tyler Ray's there as well. Much of what I stream will not be posted on YouTube, so you might want to follow me there to catch what else I'm doing. My current streaming times are Saturday and Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. GMT, and also on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT. Now on to my commentary from June 10th. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Space Center and try this again. Hello, SC25T. We need to get this Drez mission in line with Drez, and I'm having trouble already. Hello, Peel Spirit. I don't know what you mean by click add. I certainly can't, can't click this orbit, and if I, uh, you know, I mean, it, it'll give me one in three years, that'll do, occasionally. See, this is in three years. See here? That's my problem. I, I, I don't want to do it in three years. <laughs> that would be futile. That would be futile. Well, uh, at least we seem to have this part in line. But off. I guess we'll just force the issue? I mean, what else can I do? I think I just messed up the initial burn so badly that it's just gonna have to be like this. It's just gonna have to be an overburn. So yeah, we're just going to have to go for a fast pass. And that's gonna be painful because, again, we're gonna have to slow down at Drez. Drez isn't gonna help us with that. If I could create a node where we are, that would be helpful. Uh, uh no, it's still saying three years. You silly thing. Yeah, I know Dress is a pain to hit, and I'm busting a lot of my margin if I'm gonna do a 1,000 meter per second mid-course plane change, but again, I wasn't thinking straight last time. Because I was tired at the end of the stream, so I've got myself in this pickle. Okay, I'm gonna go out into interplanetary space. Hopefully it'll let me create a maneuver node once I'm out of Kerbin SOI. That's the best I can do right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I can slide it like this. That's a relief. Once you're in the same SOI, then you can do this. Sorry to start off with this, this is tedious stuff. Anyway, I don't need to fine tune this anymore. This is going to be a painful burn. It's going to cost a lot. And I don't know if we're going to even be able to land on Drez after this. But I got the timing wrong. So that's the penalty. Will I ever take Kerbal to Eve? I've been looking into it. Using stock parts. Uh, that's an important thing. And I I've had a lot of debates too with myself as far as... Because now with the ISRU it's easier, right? You can just drill for... Uh, drill for resources on Eve. So, but the, my main uh, thing is that I've been trying to design such a launch system and I haven't been satisfied with the look of it, actually. Uh, the Delta V is easy enough. It, it won't happen in this career mode for, for a while, but I can do it otherwise. You know, I can do it in Sandbox. But yeah, I'm just not satisfied with the launcher. Yeah, yeah, mining there, and uh, so the system I thought of was the base stage has four. Uh, it should have like slightly less than four thousand delta V plus boosters, and so the boosters, uh, their saw rocket boosters fall off, and it's got about four thousand delta V in the base stage, and then but all the other stages on top. Whoa, what happened? Oh, because I have no engine power and I couldn't hear it because of the music. Okay. Uh huh, make sure everything is yes, alright. 
here we go. All right, so right, so the system is uh, we need about eleven thousand delta V, assuming we're gonna land somewhere moderately high on Eve uh, to take off from it, right? Uh, so the base stage has about uh, a little less than 4,000, maybe even 3,000, and it has boosters. Uh, the boosters will get into get into orbit around Kerbin, so you know the base stage will use up its fuel to get into orbit around Kerbin. But the upper stages will be empty during that, and then it'll fuel up in orbit around Kerbin. It'll make its own transfer to Eve, land via parachute, and then just refuel itself on Eve. So that's the system. Turns out that keeping the upper stages empty during launch off of Kerbin doesn't actually uh, save much Delta V because they're so small in comparison to the rest of the rocket, but that's a minor detail. Okay, I better replot the... yeah, I better replot this one. This mission is to land... Uh, well, eventually to land this probe on Drez. We may or may not have enough fuel for that. For now, it's to achieve orbit around Drez, transmit and recover scientific data from space around Drez, and then if we can land, we land. Initially, we were thinking about uh, taking off again. But I'm not too sure that's doable because I messed up the transfer. So yeah, it's just a cute little probe. This is career mode, so I can't build the really big things just yet. We're still building up to that. Though we do have a recoverable launcher now. Which can deliver 20 tons to orbit, I believe. Uh, North-South seems fine. That's probably a good idea, actually. Alright. We will go for this. Nope, that doesn't help. I want to get as close as possible. Dres doesn't have much of a a gravity to help us out, but might as well not waste any chances. Okay, that'll do. Okay, well, I'll just focus up here, and in we go. Well, one way or another, I'm gonna be thankful for getting done with this mission, because I want to move on to... I think we've got a slew of missions that might be interesting, right? Well, oh, we, we've got the ghillie thing. That's, that's what I was thinking about. We've got a ghillie station, and we also have these people who want to go to ghillie. So I think that'll be a good good thing to try. Okay, let's find out how much it's gonna take to to get into orbit around Drez. This is gonna be painful. Well, I guess I don't have anything to do here except for try and get this down. Um, let me do some science quickly here. Okay, transmitting GUI experiment high over Drez, so we've got at least the first part of this contract done. Where are you, contract? Okay, but we can do some other readings. Barometer. We'll save the materials bay for a bit. Oh, so, uh, oh, uh, yeah, STS, STS. We are talking about STS, right? Or are you talking about SLS? Oh, the new launch system. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I do. I like it. No, but it's what we've got. <laughs> I I don't want. Let me put it this way. I don't want to badmouth it now because basically, if we do it, do badmouth it now, it's like back to the drawing board. It's like back to square one, and that's the worst of all possible options. What is it? A good idea. It, it's convenient, I suppose. Uh, the the Congress people who supported the space shuttle will support this because it's using the same components. So what can you do? The tank foam. Well, the tank foam won't be a problem with uh, with SLS because it doesn't have a shuttle to strike. But who was it? Um, 
one particular speaker gave an excellent case against the SLS. Do you know what? Uh, it was uh, mission, the very first mission controller. Oh, uh, Chris Craft. Chris Craft. Chris Craft made the best case about the situation, and uh, I I think he he was more or less spot on. But again, I don't want to bad mouth it because it's all we've got. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't want to start from the beginning. But dumping the S, uh, the space shuttle main engines, and one thing you saw in those lectures that was important was the complexity of the space shuttle main engines. They're very expensive things <laughs> to launch. They're very complicated. They're at the very edge of our capabilities. So then you're going to launch them and then chuck them. <laughs> That's not what they were designed for. That really wasn't. I mean, they are very good engines, of course. There's no question that they're the best engines for the job. It's just the whole part of having to chuck them afterwards. Okay, we have orbit. Not quite the orbit that I originally planned, so we have. I think we have fuel to land. But we won't have fuel to return. On the bright side, it doesn't have the cost of maintaining the engines, which is something that they didn't foresee with the space shuttle. If you're just going to dump them in the ocean, you don't need to worry about that part of it. Well, they, uh, Mikko, they only have six SSMEs, uh, in st uh, or six or eight in storage. So, yeah. Uh, it's not like we have a lot of space shuttle main engines lying around. They're gonna have to build new ones. Okay, so landing of course. This is... Shouldn't be too hard, right? Why not use the R-68s? Because when you cluster them, they overheat. They're not heat shielded properly. Uh, they they can't be clustered. You'll notice on the Delta IV Heavy, they're uh, just individual RS-68s. They're, you'll never see them put together in a cluster. Uh, somebody know how much the development of new engines costs? Well, uh, if we're talking about the space shuttle main engines, those are not new engines. But uh, depends on the engine and the complexity of it. No atmosphere, is it more efficient to land from a tight circular orbit or a more elliptical orbit? Um, the key point is that you want to be skimming fairly low down here. The rest of it doesn't really matter. If, if you have a high ellipse over here, you're going to burn it off one way or another anyway. As long as you're going to be burning at periapsis to drop your orbit, it's fine, I think. Obviously, your landing point should be at your periapsis, so if you're in a high elliptical orbit, you don't, you don't want to be having this side, the, the high side, the apoapsis side, as your landing side. I mean, that would that would make things very steep. You'd be going down very steeply in that case. Okay, I think we're ready for our descent burn, so just dropping orbit here. I think that'll be good. Favorite quote from there with regard to future manned lunar lander. Next time we will find out how hard it really is. Yeah, it's true. Uh, that's that's the thing. Because um, we have a lot more... <laughs> we, 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 we now expect it to be safe. In a way that, in the Apollo era, 
they really didn't expect it to be safe, I don't think. I gotta do my science here. That's why they hired uh, test pilots, because why can't I click? Hello. There we go. Do you think they should add new planets? If not, why? Um, be, uh, no, I don't think they will, uh, because it, there are plenty of mods that allow you to, and everybody's going to want different things. There, There's just... And uh, calculations can also add lag, and they want the game to run smoothly. Uh, how high am I? I think I'm getting a little bit low here. Let's slow down. Yeah, they accepted the risk. The engineers and and the astronauts understood that there was a risk involved. We don't seem to have that same feeling these days. I'm not too sure how much Delta V this is going to get me. Armstrong said in one of his last TV interviews that he did not expect to either land safely or return home. Especially, especially when Aldrin Burtley yeah, bumped that and they had to fix it. Yep. Uh, I mean, he expected that they would head to the moon, find something would go wrong, and then they'd have to... Uh, I mean, I think he, he gave certain percentages. He had a percentage... I think he thought uh, it was like 90% return home, and then only 50% get to the surface. I think it was something like that. It was 50-50 to the surface, and then 90% go home without going to the surface, and then a low probability for landing on the surface and then returning home. Well, I think I might be running out of fuel here. Uh, hold on there. I just caught the edge of your comment, but... Uh... I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Gotta try, but I'm, I think I'm, I'm gonna do the Science Junior here. Because I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Well, that's the end of that. Okay. Right. Come on. Protocol says that we keep trying. Let's hold on. If you do run out of fuel, this is what you do, by the way. At least if it's something... Something with low gravity. Okay. Uh, come on, get control, get control. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, uh. Uh, no, 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 the other way, the other way. Aww. Well, too bad. <laughs> I tried my best. Close the panels? No, I was trying to sacrifice them. I was trying to sacrifice them in the hope that it would, uh... Drez would accept that. But, uh, close but no cigar on this one. Sort of solemn music, too. Does that count as a landing? Nope. Nope, it doesn't. Oh, well. Oh, well, yeah, I guess back to Space Center. Maybe if we had better music, it would have been good. Okay, so that... Well, that, that didn't go the way I wanted it to in the first place. 
I want to see about these tourists. Now what did uh, you say, Neo? Uh, funnily, because I tried to land a probe on Ike with a very elliptical orbit, I had enough fuel for the suicide burn. Reload went circular first, and then the suicide burn worked. Well, maybe I should have done that. <laughs> the parachute turned out to be too optimistic, indeed. Says I landed. Oh yeah, I did. It did say I landed. Now if only I'd action group the science and right when I touched down done it. Okay, 